since the day you're supposed to make up your SATs? I know, Mom, but... But what? You always wanted to go to college. That's been the plan. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day. What is up? Uh, still getting my filming set up, uh, set up, I guess. So I just decided to do an intro like this. But today's video, we are doing 30 back to school outfits. And although when I did ask if I should do this video on my community tab, the nerve of this person to laugh about a 30 year old making a back to school video, which number one, I'm not 30, but number two, anyone can go back to school at any point in their life, whether you're 50 or I was gonna say 10 years old, but I guess that's not true. Anyway, yes, I'm sharing back to school outfits, but really it's kind of like transitional from like summer to fall outfits, everyday outfits. To be honest, I just need to title it back to school outfits because of the overlord algorithm that that is what's trendy right now. So that's what I gotta put. Anyway, let's get into the outfits. Now, I don't know what the weather is like where you live, but in SoCal, it is still blazing hot. So I figured I would start with some shorts. Now, longer shorts have been quite a trend these past few months, and I think they are perfect for back to school, not only to adhere to horrific school dress codes, but also for me, I always hated my leg skin sticking to the plastic chairs. So with these, that doesn't happen. It's quite a simple outfit, but the cowboy boots are what adds personality. For more of a chill look, I swapped the tank top for a t-shirt and went with Docs, something that's very much in my comfort zone, but I did decide to make it a little bit more put together by tucking in the tee, adding a belt, and folding the sleeves. This outfit isn't revolutionary or anything, but it has all the elements that make me feel the most me, which whether it's going back to school or just going into a potentially anxious filled scenario, this outfit would give me the confidence to be myself. Okay, for more of a seek styling, seek chic, I meant chic, <laughs> styling of these shorts, I decided to take it down more of a neutrals path. So not gonna lie, I've probably pinned a similar outfit on Pinterest because this to me is the ultimate cool girl look. Like, I don't know why, but it just seems like I have my life together. Maybe it's the cream belt or the boots. This is just one of my favorite outfits and I think a great combination of summer and fall fashion. Taking it back to my style in 2019, I wanted to show an alternative longer short that's distressed, especially because I just love the way that it peeks out from the lawn shirt. I'm all down for wearing t-shirts as dresses, but this top and bottom paired together makes it feel more intentional, whereas just the tee could look like I just got out of bed, which I do wear this t-shirt to bed. And again, I'm all for wearing pajamas as casual wear, but I think for this, I prefer it as a combo. Also with the platform docks, it's just, again, an outfit that makes me feel the most me. And plus, I think it's quite an easy outfit for anyone to be able to recreate. Wearing dresses to school for me was never really a thought. I mean, to be honest, I mainly just wore sweats to college, but I think something like this is perfect because because it's comfy and cute and can be tailored to your personal comfort. For dress code's sake, I put a Harley tee under so you can kind of make out that it's a Harley tee. So it gives it, you know, kind of an edge, but isn't the spotlight. This dress is easy to mold into whatever style you want. So I added more casual pieces to dress it down and make it more wearable for school or just casual settings. If you aren't a big tee under dresses person, but can't rock spaghetti straps because God forbid our shoulders distract men, then adding a thin button up is your friend. It serves as a way to tone down the overall look while also providing an accessory that won't overheat you. I think a white button up should be a staple for anyone, but then with the added white sneakers, it brings the same casual energy that a white tee and jeans gives, but is cuter. Yes, plaid with back to school. Riveting, I know, but hey, it's kind of like, why not, you know? So yes, this is a plaid dress and leather blazer, but it lets me live out my dreams as a character in the original Gossip Girl where I make over my school uniform. But I mean, also I only want to be on Gossip Girl because they always filmed at the prettiest locations in New York. But anyway, I decided to play into the school girl vibe with these Mary Janes and Ingle socks. And again, just pretend that if I went to a private school, this would be what my uniform would look like. Even though I did go to a private school when I was in first grade and 
All we wore were khakis. Okay, never mind. This would be what I would wear on the original Gossip Girl because I feel like they always wore colored tights. So anyway, I put this Peter Pan button up that was really popular last year with this dress to make it look more put together and added the white tights to make the overall dress look like it had more intention versus the more simple styling before. Catered to climates that actually get fall, I added a crop sweater on top of this dress just to show another way of styling, especially if you don't own a lot of skirts or you just want to repeat an outfit a little bit differently. I stuck with just white sneakers to keep it super casual. Now you can interpret this outfit any way you want, but I needed to include a slip dress because this is my channel and I do what I want. And plus, I think playing with pastels can still be done in fall, especially August and September, where yes, Joanne Fabrics has their Halloween decor out, but you're just not ready to commit to the maroons and the mustard color palette. To help with the straps, I paired the dress with this light blue cardigan and decided to have fun with the shoes. Now, these cow print boots literally go with any outfit, but my favorite way to style them is with pastels because I find they are the easiest pattern to pair with them and they're also cute so why not <laughs> not an original idea but i'm trying to make 30 outfits so don't judge me but uh i yes i did pair a white top under the slip dress just to make it feel more everyday and less like lingerie -y. That's not a word, but I'm gonna use it. Now you can't see because of the lighting, but the top does have little jewels that spell out baby girl. So it does pop out right where the indent is in the chest silhouette. So it's a feature that I think is a cute little touch, but also isn't overdoing it. One of my favorite things to rock nowadays are floral maxi skirts, especially the ones with a slit for not only helping having a sweaty bottom, but also an overall nice break in the fabric that adds a little bit of shape. Another outfit that I think is quite easy to recreate and can work for most everyday situations, whether it's college or going to a cafe, the denim jacket is always a go-to for me. And let me tell you, I am counting down the days until I can wear mine and won't melt from the heat. <laughs> to be more realistic to a back to school situation, I paired this plain thrifted crew neck and sneakers with the skirt. Finding ways to integrate things you love wearing to feel comfy at home into more of a put together outfit is how I usually dress day to day. And this crew neck is obviously plain and doesn't do much on its own, but paired with a skirt, gives a new life to probably the normal way you usually wear it. I promise this is the last outfit you'll see this skirt in, but switching gears from the last outfit to something that makes a little bit more of a statement when you walk into a room. I paired this sheer lingerie top that I got in a Depop mystery box with this white crop top to be able to show all the pretty details on it while also not showing any skin. The details in the tank top really complement the skirt. And then the platform boots really add a contrast to the more girly top half of my body. Now, I personally probably wouldn't walk around a campus in these boots, but I think the weight of them is a necessary edge that I personally need for myself to feel comfortable and confident in an outfit like this. So you can never go wrong with a full black outfit. And actually I kind of strayed away from specifically black jeans for the past few years because I was scarred from the years I would wear only my Topshop black Joni skinny jeans. But these jeans have a really fun vintage detail on the crotch area. Well, I mean, I guess it would be the zipper area. Yeah, let's go with that, where I think it really goes with what type of style I like in my denim. And then adding just a plain black tee with a gold belt helps this outfit look casual and timeless. As much as I love a good, fun, colored patterned outfit, something like this will be my go-to if I'm ever going into something where I feel a little bit uneasy about the situation, or if I just want kind of a no fuss outfit. Talking about a timeless outfit, this outfit again, I think can be worn in literally any situation. I love a good graphic tee, but a nice button up brings more intention to the outfit. I added a brown belt to introduce another color, but still keep it minimal. And yes, this isn't the most interesting outfit ever, but it does just always work and always looks good. <laughs> but to really contrast everything I just said, is this outfit, which I think is quite realistic in any scenario where you just sit in for two hours or more. And I know these pants aren't 
everyone's cup of tea, but they are a lifelong staple in my wardrobe because they are so freaking comfy and fun. I love how the orange on the pants almost brighten the orange in the flames on my shirt and the docks just perfectly tie up the look. I think keeping your fashion fun is always the way to go. Obviously, whatever that means for your own personal style, but just rocking the items that bring you joy. So this is definitely a more back to school fall look, but I love a good plaid blazer. And I think for anyone that has more of an extra type of style, this is for you. Although technically this is a really simple outfit, just a full black outfit with a statement cropped blazer. But it's something if I was really feeling myself that day, I would rock back to more casual wear. This is another super easy outfit that feels very relaxed and has a very fun, almost like, I don't wanna let go of summer type of feel. These jeans are my number one favorite in my closet because they aren't restricting, but still have a very classic vibe to them, especially since I added holes in the knees. It lets a, a nice little breeze in there. <laughs> okay, yes. This is just a crew neck outfit, but again, something very realistic I think most people would wear. I think when you are pairing a crew neck with jeans, going for some sort of graphic on it just gives personality. And I just love a good graphic crew neck like this one because it, it lets people know what kind of humor you have or just kind of what interests you have as a person. Like this one, now everyone knows I'm a cool dad. Although a lot of people thought me getting this crew neck meant I was pregnant, which no, I can confirm the only children I have are my cats and they do think I'm a cool dad. Another way to show your personality is funky pants. I think when in doubt of what to wear, go for funky pants. <laughs> These have some fruit on them and literally make me smile every time I look at them. Also this puff sleeve blouse just goes so perfectly with them. Ooh, we are back at granny chic. <laughs> okay, no, but I've been waiting to bring this chunky cardigan out since I got it. And I think pairing it with the blue tank top just is so pretty. <laughs> Cardigans just make sense, especially during transitional weather because they're comfy and it feels like you're basically just wearing a blanket. And if you find one with a fun color, you can rock it with a more minimal outfit like this. I decided to go with these Guinam shoes because it felt like it needed a pattern that would go with every article of clothing in this outfit. And I've probably worn my docks way too much already in this video. I know all of you that are looking at this video for back to school inspo or just everyday fashion inspo are screaming at me for wearing this corset style top and hear me out, it looks cute. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to wear it, which I think if you are going to rock a corset style top or maybe something that wouldn't be considered casual, pairing it with a jacket that may overpower it is the way to go. Obviously you still see the top, but you can also cover it with the jacket. The boots also add to the more elegant feel of the leather long blazer and the brown belt pops to remind you of the shape of my body since with this long jacket, I could look just like a blob. I told you I was excited for fall. So this outfit is literally going to be my uniform once it's not a uh, hundred degrees outside. These velvet pants are something I never knew I needed in my life until I thrifted them and it changed the game forever. Especially with this blazer, the colors make me feel like I should be in a gothic library, but the crop tee brings a casual element that I think keeps it feeling fun. And if you take one thing out of this video, it is to thrift some velvet pants, trust me, you need them. Okay, I wanted to show another way of layering with these pants and sheer tops that can be worn under tank tops are definitely my go-to when number one, I feel like the outfit is boring, but then number two, if I don't wanna show my armpits, which why would I wanna cover my armpits, you may ask? Literally, I don't know. Just sometimes I have those days where I want fabric to be there, but I don't wanna wear like a proper top. Quickly, just to again, really obsessed with these pants, I wanted to put a t-shirt on top of the sheer long sleeve to give another way to style t-shirts. I wanted to include an outfit with some trousers because I just love trousers and they do make me feel like I'm about to get some business done. So maybe they would have helped me with my severe procrastination in college. Probably not, but they are super cute. Also, I love how the pink bottoms and the green top really go with the floral blazer. I probably wouldn't even wear them without the floral blazer because it just 
completes it so well. Sweater vests are another trend that has become a staple in my wardrobe and I think the way I styled it can be quite timeless, although the bright pastel colors keep this look in light versus more dark academia. These next two outfits are basically the same but different, but this first one I wanted to show how a bright blazer or leather blazer can really impact an outfit. So this red one makes me personally feel very powerful, so if I'm needing to do something important one day and want to feel more confident in myself, I would definitely go for this. Whereas this green one makes me feel very calm and chill, especially with swapping the top to then just a tee. I feel like I could wear it at a farmer's market or the grocery store. So I guess this is just a bonus outfit because I didn't realize I filmed 31 outfits. So surprise, <laughs> hope you feel equipped for back to school or everyday styling. Okay, I, I don't know why I can't do this outro, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you would like to continue to see my face again, and as always, everything in this video was thrifted. So if you also like thrifting videos and secondhand fashion, you can hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. If you want to keep up to date with me during the week, you can follow me on Instagram, which is alexandrine83. Now I'll see you guys on Wednesday for my next video. I hope you have a super sunny day. Enjoy life, be happy, and I'll be lost. Bye!